What's up, everybody? Snoopy's Fall Away back with another mukbang, and I got some Taco Bell, a new item, and some KFC because I was just smelling that chicken, man. And you can't go into a Taco Bell KFC and not get both, right? Because it's like, do I just want Taco Bell? Do I just want KFC? I want the best of both worlds, baby. You know what I'm saying? So this right here, even though it don't look like much, I'm going to open it up in a second. It's called the new uh, something bacon uh, quesadilla. So I was like, all right, let me try that. The, the packaging to me is like, eh, you know, not really much for the eyes. It just comes like that. It is what it is, but I'm going to open it up right here. So it looks like this. Um, oh, it's actually... Oh, they put it on the outside, so let's see. So let me give you guys a look and see. It looks like this. So not really much to it. It's so just sprinkled cheese and bacon on the outside. So that's how that looks right there. Right there, right there, good, right there, good. Yeah. All right, so let's, um, I guess, you know, we can leave it on the paper like so. And, uh, Break it up. Stack him up, stack him up. And right here, I got their fries, which look a bit overcooked to me. And this tiny ass chicken. I mean, like, it just, it just keeps getting smaller, bro. <laughs> like, what is going on? Oh, this fries taste different today. Anyway, let's get right into it. That should be all right. And then I got the Baja Blast. So we're just going to eat and enjoy. Maybe a little chit chat. didn't have no ketchup so I got these fire sauces on deck right here so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna lace this up because we all know what a quesadilla tastes like right so I think it's just what did they get in there yeah a cheese and meat or something so this is the new quesadilla from Taco Bell right here let's try it out Mm. I'm starving for one. It's good. Would I order it again? No. I need to do another Popeyes video. You guys want to see a Popeyes video? If you never tried fire sauce on your chicken, you got to give that a try. Let me see. Don't know, man. <clears throat> These guys are slacking, though. At least, not all the KFCs. Just that one that I go to in particular. It's the closest one here. It's like they slack hard, bro. Anyway, I've been craving this KFC chicken for a minute. So let's take a bite. Mm. But the flavor is always there, though. Mm. They actually needs two sauces.
Yeah, it's not really a pretty sight. I say they should have put like a, a like a, a nice thick sauce on the outside, just like a layer, and then hit it with some chives. KFC though. They taste, they change the fries because there's like, it tastes like a seasoned salt and sugar. Fireplace going over there in 4K. Fries are horrible, man. <laughs> Great trash. It's like a barbecue seasoning to put on, like a barbecue chips. It tastes like barbecue chips, but they didn't give me fresh fries though. And that's a shame. Oh, what? Oh, there's chicken in here. Okay. And it's got some type of sauce I could taste that's different than the regular quesadilla. Not the prettiest looking meal in the world, but.
I should have got more chicken. What the heck was that thing? No! Damn. Yeah, so you guys see, seen it on TikTok. I don't know why it's not on the news, but the stuff that's going on in Hawaii and Maui, and they shooting lasers from space, y'all, and just destroying, killing people. That's this is crazy, you know. So what you're gonna, what they're gonna do is they're gonna mix up. You're gonna get a lot of real stuff and truth, and you're gonna get a lot of fake stuff and lies mixed in, right? Because some of that stuff, <clears throat> like this fake alien invasion that they're gonna drop pretty soon, they're resurrecting rappers with AI more now than it's just it's crazy. And all of the stuff that we researched and studied and was laughed at for studying and 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 trying to tell our friends and families and stuff like that, now. It's everywhere to the point where I don't even want to research it no more like this. But that's what they do. And it's just sad, man. So I just feel for all the little souls, man, that they're saying hundreds or even thousands of people um, lost their lives. It's crazy when the, your, your own, the, the, the government is taking lives like that and killing people so stupid man it's like these demonically charged depressed possessed whatever the hell these people are Fallen angels, whatever you want to call them. They're ramping up. And you guys go look up CERN. CERN, uh, these, they're opening portals and, and bringing entities into our realm, man. Like they're super ramping this stuff up now. But I remember when I was with my Hebrew Israelite camp. The GLCC and Elder Ricard, Elder Gaja, Brother Mark, and um, Elder Loya used to break this down in the, in the Hebrew Academy, in the Bible Academy. And that Christian Bible, because You're not going to learn anything <clears throat> that you need to learn going to church. You're just going to hold hands and sing songs and shit and pass your money around. That's all you're going to do. Read the same old story over and over and over. But when I was in the academy, I did the academy about five times, four times, five times. It broke down <clears throat> everything and and broke down a lot when it comes to the CERN machine, this 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 technology that they have. With with bringing back entities and stuff like that. They they went to Egypt and I I don't know if they they're trying to still, but they're trying to resurrect Izezo. Or Azazel, however you say his name. But we're here, y'all. Like, this is. You remember? I'm in my mid 40s, so. I remember a time when I was young. And um, it was like school, come home, drop your bags, freshen up, eat, do your homework, 
um, get your stuff ready for school for the next day and you go outside and play for a bit, come back, watch a show or a movie pretty soon as bedtime. Summertime comes, school is out. You're riding big wheels. Y'all remember big wheels? You're riding your big wheel. Um, you're watching your Saturday morning cartoons. You're eating a big bowl of cereal on your tummy in front of the TV. You're outside playing, having fun, going to the pool, um, going to the arcade, all of that good fun stuff. It was like not a care in the world. You didn't know about none of this madness that's been going on. And that's been going on for a very, very long time too. Like now that you get into the study and the research and all the history, because that's all you have to do. Listen, this is all you have to do. Before I get onto that, it was just, that's why Wu-Tang had that song that I love so much, that, that can, it, can it be that it was all so simple then. It was so simple back then, you know what I mean? And we, we didn't know about all of the stuff, but apparently they've been doing this for a very, very long time, back in the ancient Egyptian period. <clears throat> and at first, this is how the truth works, right? And this is why The Matrix, I love it so much. I love that movie because it just, it hits you raw to the core and it just shows you exactly what's going on. You have the red pill and you have the blue pill. You take that red pill, you will never be the same anymore. People are going to look at you funny, which I don't, I don't give a rat's ass. Um, you know, family might disown you. None of that I care about. What I care about is that me as a light body that came from the stars, through the sperm, to the egg, into this 3D physical flesh um, with a soul and a spirit. My focus is to get myself educated and to know certain things of life, like why am I here, what's my purpose? Once you find, once you find out your purpose, you, you 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 just change and it's it's for the better like it's it's hard to put into words but what and then once you start to research and you go back and you, you go back and do the back research on you know um, whatever it is right and you you go into detail and you, you dig up and you find whatever you can find that's available to find <clears throat> you'll never be the same again and it's just it's it's a beautiful thing at first when you're studying it excuse me but then as now I'm at the point now, I research so much and I still do every single day. But there was a period of time for many, many, many years, probably like a good 20 years, solid every day, research and study, research and study, research and study, research and study, research and study and highlighting. That it had a fear factor behind it because you're like, damn, dude, like, that's crazy if this is really happened, if that really happened, if this is what we're going through now, what's to come? But you're fascinated and excited about the research, right? And you're sharing it, and you you know your mind. You feel good because you know a lot, and 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 it's not about how much you're acquiring, which is which is good because you're filling up your your files with information. But it's about knowing the information and 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 seeing what's been going on and what's going on now, what's to come. But then you get to the point in your research where you're like, I don't even want to deal with this shit no more. Like I don't, I, you know. I stay up on it so I know it. But now you're seeing all the stuff that we've been researching come through. Now lasers being shot down from the atmosphere and blowing up places, killing off people. Then you read about how they want to depopulate the, uh, the the earth uh, and trying to get rid of a certain amount. They even have a certain a number that they want to get rid of. Like there's so much stuff that's just freaking crazy, man. And it's just like. You know, I sit back and I go, damn, there's just so many of us, you know what I'm saying? If we just wake up and <clears throat> educate ourselves and then stay together strong, like there's way more of us than there is them. But they have the money, they have the power, they have the technology, they have the resources. And it's just, it, it just seems like it's hopeless at times. And there's a lot more worse to come. <clears throat> um... But I'm, I'm in a place now where I'm just like, you know, one thing I know as much as I would love to, as much as I, I'm going to enjoy my life and as much as I want to live an extremely long life here on this earth, because regardless of all the stuff that they're doing 
and all of the craziness to, in the world. If you take all that out and push it aside, I love living here on this earth, you know what I mean? And this experience. But I know that, you know, when we leave here and transition back from when we came from to that light, that energy source, the source from which we came from, that it's going to be way better. <clears throat> and we know that. But at the same time, you still want to enjoy this experience here. We came here for a reason. So I want, I want to enjoy this to the fullest without all of this shit, you know? I don't, I don't care about no damn Elon Musks and no <clears throat> Gates and Bates and all these other freaking weirdos, man, and <clears throat> reptilians on planes and all, all, and all this stuff and all this crazy wars and explosions and crazy weapons and secret societies. and all. I'm just so sick and tired of it. I'm over it. But I can't give up. I got I to gotta stay up on what's going on so that I can know because knowledge is power, right? Um, and I just hope, wish, pray that all of us get into a spot financially where we can, um, like my, my goal and my dream, and I don't want to put too much out there, is just to have a place somewhere out in a beautiful lush wilderness somewhere, secure with like a underground bunker that's got full of supplies, like, you know what I'm saying, two to four years worth of like dry, good, healthy food goods and fresh water and escape routes and uh, armored up military vehicles you know like th that that's how i think in in my head because you have to now like it, it used to be just for fun like me and my son would sit back and think about stuff like that and go you know if you had like 50 million 80 100 million what would you do <clears throat> build a gorgeous home dream home and um you know have like an underground system uh high-tech security secured system it's fully weaponized and stocked up um, with like a speed train, you know what I'm saying? That that can uh, take us out of the city uh, several uh, miles at like top speeds of like a like 200, 220 miles an hour. You know what I'm saying? If we needed to get out underground and for a few hours at that speed, you know what I'm saying? Just to get us out of there, like secret compartments in the house, weapon stash. I always think like that, like, and, and that, I guess that's the youngster inside of me still with that coziness, you know, like what, if a zombie apocalypse broke out, broke out, like, like, what would you do if you had the resources? And, and these are things like I would discuss with my son, especially when we were younger and he was just really young, super into that, you know what I mean? And, um, but now it's to the point where it's like, you actually have to really think like that because look at, look at the times that we're living in now, right? Yeah. I'm mukbanging right now, having a good time with you guys. Um, we're gonna wake up in, in several hours head back to work you know got events and stuff coming up because you got to live your life and enjoy it uh but i also always in the back of my mind i'm always <clears throat> prepared mentally um just to know things you know what i mean and uh it's just good to know and it's it's just sucks that we're living in these times right now <clears throat> so you know words of encouragement man just just study research um if you meditate you pray stick with it um and we'll see you know what what these crazy people got in store and you know as much as there is wicked in this world it can't everything can't all be a hundred percent wicked but there's down there's up there's left there's right there's negative there's positive there's evil there's righteousness there's good there's bad like you know what i mean so there's always a counterpart to it so stay on the righteous side do what you need to do for you and your family stay strong <clears throat> um, i'm headed back to the gym pretty soon fit i might even um I'm looking, I want to get into Gracie Jiu Jitsu so super bad. I know I'm all over the place talking, but it was on my mind to mention that to you guys. As you can tell, I love this fire sauce. It's going to love me right back in the morning. <laughs> as soon as I get up. Mm -hmm. 
yesterday, I was in that neighborhood doing something. It was at that same place where I got this from. And I was hungry and I said, you know what? Let me just grab a quick bite because I know <clears throat> I'm gonna come home and eat dinner, right? I was starving. I wanted to enjoy my smoke, but I said, let me just get started on my stomach real quick. So I did, I grabbed a soft taco supreme and I hit it with two of them fire sauce and that soft taco supreme was way better than that quesadilla right there. It was so good. So yeah. Um, yeah, just you guys just stay alert. It's not about Hebrew Israelites or any type of religion or Islam, Christianity. It's not about none of that. Come up out of all those boxes. Get away from labels. Stay in tune with the Creator. Stay in tune with Mother Nature. Stay in tune with the Earth. Um, stay up on the information, but don't get caught up on panels. Going back and forth, trying to debate and argue, and it's not worth it, man. None of that stuff is gonna is gonna help out. It's good to go back and forth with information on certain with certain individuals and kick ideas out too while you're at it. And you, you know, iron sharpens iron. <clears throat> but to go back and forth, especially with like with the whole religion thing, is it's, it's stupid. It's a waste of time. I've been there for years. I'm beyond that. Um, I feel like I'm hovering, looking down at the earth and all this stuff and laughing and going, damn, it's a damn shame, dude. I, and I, I'm embarrassed I used to be stuck in that. <laughs> I'm just so glad that my my brain and my spirit guided me away from that. The, the true creator like just pulled me away from all that. I had to go through it, had to swim through it, had to deal with it. The back and forth, the the, the this is right, no, that's wrong. This is like all of like, none of that. Like, I'm just so far pulled away from that that you know what i'm saying <clears throat> even that new jerusalem come down in a box everything is they're gonna catch all your niggas in a box that's what that's, everybody finna be put in the cube you know what i'm saying so you might as well just stay over there and walk around that cobblestone and try to stick your head into that womb and kiss on it but it's, none of that shit's gonna help you none of that stuff is, is it, all of that stuff is just straight up sorcery straight up do the, do the real research on it, it's sorcery. People don't like to hear the truth. It stings them, it hurts them, you know what I'm saying? They're raised a certain way. They, they have one track mind, they believe, they only believe that, you know what I'm saying? They, they can't see past their nose. And when the truth is right in front of their face, they, they don't accept it, right? They're, they're quick to argue with you, they're quick to fight you down. Leave those people alone. Leave, I left all them people alone. You, you guys can stay sealed in that brainwashed box, you know? And then... <clears throat> When the deity that you're worshiping comes and puts you back in another box where there's thieves and robbers outside and dogs trying to get his, uh, yeah, you, you gonna see you singing holy, holy, holy all day and night. Who the hell wanna do that? <sighs> Look, wake up, y'all. It's, it's time to wake up. It, matter of fact, nobody has a choice anymore. Everybody's waking up in their own way. And a lot of people waking up and falling right back into boxes or whatever. At least people are, are seeing now, like, what's going on. And a lot of stuff that you're going to see, that, uh, good information and truth out there, they're not putting on the news. They, for many reasons, but it's just, it's really upsetting to see that stuff. I can't even grasp. When I seen the video footage of that stuff that happened in Hawaii, man. Shout out to Hawaii. Um, you guys need to get to some safe areas, man, and just... Find somewhere to go that you can go, if you can go. Like, it's just, I don't even know what advice to give you. But if it's praying that you do, stay prayed up. You know, if it's uh, meditation, whatever, man. You know, some of these rabbis and teachers, man, they are, uh, and these preachers, they need to get on the cell phone direct line to their creator and be like, hey, man, what's, what's popping, man? Why's y'all up there in the clouds, you know what I'm saying? Uh, eating snow cones and tiptoeing through the tulips and stuff and running in slow motion with with lassie you know real shit is going on down here on the earth you know what i'm saying we need help down here you know and i know that we are the ones that they have to do because we are the true powers you know what i'm saying we, we didn't came through the womb we don't we done been through the matrix we didn't um 
we're a strong species on this earth you know <clears throat> and we say we're earthlings but not we're not even really from earth if you think about it right because where did you come from before the sperm do you ever think you ever say to yourself before i was swimming around in my dad's sack right i'm just 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 facts right like that's what it is. You can call it, you can call whatever scientific term you want, testicles or whatever. Before you was a sperm. Uh, where were you before? Because you didn't that that light didn't like burst up through the earth and then go into your father and then go into your mother. That light source came from somewhere, right? So we're actually from another realm that came into this realm to have a physical experience. And this is where it goes deep because it makes perfect sense, right? I'm not kicking no weird shit to you. Think about it. You think, right? Just just the thought of a sperm and an egg alone creating life is still, I'm still grasping that. Life itself is, is just beautiful, but it's just, you know, you, you look at the functions of life, right? The male and the female come together and create life. And it happens not just in us, but it happens in animals too. So it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing. Like that right there is what you call a true miracle that you can witness and see and know and it's fact right and it's just it's just so dope when i think in my mind like before the sperm so this is how my mind thinks where what were we where do we come from did we send ourselves or were we sent if that's the case whether i sent myself or we were sent why what and what's our purpose here well, we know you can find your purpose here. You can become a carpenter, you become an artist, a singer, a dancer, uh, a doctor, a dentist, a lawyer, a uh, construction worker, a uh, teacher, swimmer, whatever. Like everybody has a function and a purpose when you're here. But before that, what were you, right? So we know that we're light beings, energy source, energy never dies, we recycle back to the source. Um, and I, I'm gonna do this research, I keep, forgetting i need to write it down or i need to go right after this while it's fresh in my mind oh are you fuck oh shit we're still recording my bad yo i almost tripped out because i looked and i didn't see the little red dot but it, there is none right there i see the time is still going okay so i'm not going to keep you guys much longer but i know that <clears throat> scientists said that they took sperm under a uh, really high tech you know they got all the toys but they put it underneath their powerful uh microscope and they said that the sperm let off, when it hits the egg, it lets off an extremely bright energy source or light that's brighter than the sun. Um, so it all is gonna tie into Polaris and the North Pole and all that. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, good. I, I learned a lot of this stuff too with what I know when I listen to Bro Sanchez, even though a lot of people claim that he's pseudo because he, he teaches flat earth. Um, but besides that, right, if, if you're if you're not an idiot and you can just listen to all information and then see where he ties things in, he, he talks a lot about this North Pole and Polaris and stuff like that. So now it's all the stuff I know is starting to make more sense. It's starting to come together now, and I want to do an intense study about that. So, But anyway, we can talk about that more uh, on another uh, video. But yeah, so that's it. That's all I have right there. Remember, but... Um, I just want to wish you guys all uh, uh, peace and be safe out there. Um, stay studied up. Don't be controlled. Don't let them put you in a box and all that other stuff, man. Just free your mind like Neil, right? Sometimes you, it's going to come a time where you, everybody's going to have to jump, right? So, uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, Taco Bell for that new quesadilla. Um, I was hungry, so, you know, I, I ate it. Uh, I give it probably a 4.5 out of 10 i will never get that again um i do suggest though if you get it tell them to make it for you fresh and maybe put some sour cream or some guacamole on it. i don't know but was it something that i recommend to go get nah i wouldn't i'd rather you go get a mexican pizza sevillera burrito and a steak soft taco supreme and they call it a day you know what i'm saying or maybe a chili cheese burrito hit it with that hot sauce um and then kfc even though the chicken is always looking small 
sometimes you get lucky to get some big pieces it's still got that good kfc flavor so kfc for the win for this one right here um and i'm trying to think of another video but you guys can leave me some suggestions down in the comments down below or in the community tab yeah and that's all i got for you man um peace out y'all much love it's your boy snoopy's about to sign out have a good night good day wherever you at stay safe y'all peace you know.